I'm trying to be a better Mexican. Uh, I really am. I've got the CDs in my car, How to Be a Better Mexican. It's a six CD set. I'm on the third CD right now called Stab and Twist. Uh, and <laughs> doing pretty good. I was just stabbing and it was all clean exit wounds and it doesn't make any sense at all. Because I want to be better. I want to wear head to toe Dodger gear. I, I do. At a wedding, uh, but I can't pull it off. We went into man. the archive for you, Al. You went deep into an archive. What year is that from, right there? That is like 2005. Yeah. You, that is old material, ladies and gentlemen. If yeah. you're watching this, that is not indicative. It's pr pretty much the same thing. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but that's you've got I, new material ten I've years got, later. Yeah, exactly. That's uh, old clips. Yeah. We got a guy cooking scallops in the morning. Mm -hmm. I had one of those. It's not sitting well. Uh oh. Seafood in the morning is not a good idea. It's breakfast of champions. We, yeah. we get a bit of everything here in the morning. You're going to be the comedy mix. I'm going to get one of those massages later. That's what I'm going to get. It's got enough spa, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Whistler is where it's at for that. Uh, Al Madriga, uh, Madriga here in the in the studio. And comedy mix this weekend. Familiar face to many people recognize you from the Daily Show. But I was just asking you about your space as a comedian. When you like to write, you've got two kids. It's a busy schedule. What you just sold a movie, two TV shows. You can't stop the hustle in this business. Yeah, well. Uh, you never know when everything's going to be taken away from you. Uh, so any independent contractor uh, just has uh, to scramble for work. And then as a comedian, when you start out, you're taking any gig that you can, and then it's hard to say no. And then when you start selling stuff, it's hard to stop selling stuff. So yeah. I, uh, I have way too much on my plate. But I'm excited to be here and then going up against Canucks, which is crazy. Game six Saturday so night. So tonight, exactly. The game is on Saturday and people want to come out tonight. I have two shows tonight. Yeah. That's, you know, to build this around your hockey schedule is that I have two shows tonight and then you can come late on Saturday. That's the plan. You and planned then, ahead here. And then the non-hockey fans, which there are some because we were busy last night, uh, can come out to the early show. Yeah. If everything goes well, this is what I told the audience last night, if everything goes well in my comedy career, the movie sells, the two TV shows go, Yeah. I'll never be back. <laughs> So this is our only this chance. Is <laughs> this is it. Go there this weekend. <laughs> this is it. To see Al do If everything thing. goes according to plan yeah. in my comedy career, in the next year, yeah. I'll be doing so well that I will never come back. <laughs> And you have uh, been to the city before. You played the River Rock Casino. And uh, ever since, I mean, you've worked on the, the late night comedy circuit. Uh, you've written for some greats, uh, worked alongside uh, John Stewart with The Daily yes. Show. And there's a changing of the guard happening with late night television with the youth movement going on. What do you think about this, about uh, just going younger, going viral? Because you've got your own podcast network going on. There's a new way to have your content consumed. There's a new way to have your content consumed. There's no doubt you don't really need the networks anymore. I mean, we just, I look for the big paychecks. Yeah, I do. Look at that. Look at him, he's uh, old. Well, you he know can't. What? The <laughs> How old is this clip for you? <laughs> that, that's 2007, 2008? Look, beard and glasses. That is in the, uh, since I've had a yeah, right. facial hair you and glasses see, since for like the last five Think years. I yeah. had to start wearing glasses because my eyes are so horrible. Yeah. yeah. That's what happened. Good so, on you, though, thank man. you very much. It's a good look. And you work alongside John Stewart, obviously a legend in the game. What, what do you respect about him as a comedian? Uh, he's the most uh, hardworking guy ever. And that's really, uh, people are retiring. It's so Letterman and John and, and uh, you know, you have all these Leno, it's just, people are old. Yeah. Look at what it's doing to you. You used to have black, black hair. hair. When I started this when show. When he started this show six months ago, he had <laughs> black hair. And look at him now. This is like, look what you people have done. It's changed a great deal. Maybe I should start writing and uh, start my own podcast network. Uh, Half Like Me, one of your specials coming out. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's, it's out actually on Hulu. You can watch that on Hulu. But it's Half Like Me is the plight of any half uh, anything. It's sort of... There's, I am with Jorge Ramos and a bunch of uh, my Mexican relatives, but I'm half Mexican. So what you have there is my journey to sort of 
figure that out because I never really felt Mexican enough for Mexicans and I never felt like, you know, white people always thought I spoke Spanish. And I had a guy after a show say, hey man, you speak pretty good English. <laughs> so I have to sort of figure that out, but if you're half Asian and if you're half black or whatever it is, you always have the people that are trying to act like the Asian authority and out Asian each other. This is what I found. So from the beginning of time, there's been people trying to out Latino each other. Oh. And so I oh, bro, you don't need, you don't, you're not authentic. You know, my, my great grandfather was an Aztec. Wow. <laughs> yeah, They're yeah, going that's deep with this stuff. Well, yeah, exactly. And that's what Asians do the same thing. So actually, after this special came out, uh, all of these halfies and mixed race people started contacting me and saying, thank you for making this. No one's made anything like this. Yeah. So if you're a half breed, you'll love tonight. You love Comedy the show. Mix. If you're a half breed in Vancouver, this is the show for you. If that's you. a pitch, uh, uh, <laughs> there it is, man. It doesn't get better than that. If you're that. not a half breed, please stay away. <laughs> uh, you can catch him at the Comedy Mix all weekend long. Al, congrats on the success, man. Keep it going. Great hair. All right, thank you very much. Great glasses. Thank you. Right back at you, sir. All right.